Module 7, Segment 1 Purchase Orders The objective of this training segment is to prepare a purchase order to restock inventory. Please note that this session assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1 through 6. To begin, select the Purchase Order icon arrow and select Add. The Find for Browsing Company Entries window appears. Type the supplier's name in the Company Name field. A partial entry is allowed. Select OK. A browser appears listing the companies that match the name you typed. If the company is not found, the browser will be empty and you may select Add to create the company. To select the company from the browser, double-click anywhere on the line. The Adding New Purchase Order window opens. This is the header of the purchase order and contains the supplier's name and address, contact information, terms, and shipping information. All of this information is automatically filled in from the saved company record. You may change or add any information at this time. Select OK to save the header record and open the purchase order window. Let's take a moment to become familiar with the purchase order window. The purchase order is divided into four panels with the action buttons along the bottom of the window. The top panel contains the header information. The second panel contains the list of items to be purchased. The third panel displays receiving information. And the last panel contains item notes. Now we will add the part that needs to be purchased. Select the Add Action button. The Adding Item window opens. Type in the item number in the Part Number field and press Enter. If the part number as you typed it exists in the part list, you will move to the Type area. If there is more than one part that meets your search criteria, the Browsing Master Part Entries window will open, displaying all matching results. Double-click on the part desired to select it. The Browsing Master Part Entries window will also open if the part typed in does not exist in the parts list, allowing you to insert it into the list by selecting the Add Action button. In the Type box, select the Purchase Radio button. Note that you may also select either Exchange or Non-Stock. Please refer to Online Help Chapter 8 for more information on purchase types. We will now add other details and pricing information for the part. Verify the condition and unit of measure are correct. If not, change them now. Enter the quantity you need to buy in the field labeled Quantity Purchased. Type the date for delivery in the Next Delivery field. There are two fields for recording cost. If you are purchasing in your own currency, you may use either the Currency Cost or Home Cost fields. An entry into either one of these fields will update the other. If you are purchasing in a foreign currency, enter the foreign amount in the Currency Cost field. The cost will be converted into your home currency and displayed in the Home Cost field. Again, an entry into either one of these fields will update the other. Select OK to save the details. 
You now see the part added to the Items section of the Purchase Order window. Now, let's add a note to print on the Purchase Order. Select the Notes Action button. Type the text of the note in the window that appears, and then select OK to save the text. As with previous modules, the note is displayed in the Item Notes panel. We will also add a clause to the Purchase Order header. This clause will be included on the printed PO below the last line item. Select Global Header Clause. The selected clause window will open, displaying the clauses we have attached to the order. Select the Add Action button to open the Master Clause table. The Browse Clauses window opens. Double-click on the clause you wish to print on the order. The Editing Order Clause window opens, allowing you to modify the clause text. Select OK to attach the clause to a purchase order. You will be returned to the Selected Clauses window, where you will see your new clause displayed. Close the Selected Clause window to be returned to the Purchase Order window. We are now ready to print the purchase order. Select Global. The Global Options window opens. Select Print PO, Return PO. The Purchase Order Print Settings window opens. To make changes to any of the settings in this window, select Edit. You must have a destination and a document selected. We have set this up for a preview before print. Ensure that the document is STD Purchase Order. If you used Item Notes on the Purchase Order, be sure that Print Item Notes is enabled. Review all the print settings for the Purchase Order. Select OK to save your changes. Select the Print Action button to preview the document. Preview the document, and when you are ready, click the Printer icon at the top of the preview to send the document to the printer. Select Close to return to the Purchase Order Print Settings window. Close the Purchase Order Print Settings window to be returned to the Purchase Order. To recap what we learned in this lesson, we created a new purchase order, added a line item, added notes and a clause to the line item, and printed the purchase order. You may now proceed to Module 7, Segment 2, Receiving a Purchase Order.